Hello and welcome to What's So Does the Giraffe Say with Kathleen Ritorne. Today we are talking with Shane from Eco Montserrat, where we're going to be Hello. discussing all things recycling and his work here on the island. So hi Shane and thank you for agreeing to talk to us. Um, just tell us a little bit about yourself, how you came to Montserrat um, and if you've always been passionate about recycling and conservation work. Hi, good day to everyone. I'm Shane Caesar, local island recycler at School of Montserrat Project, Eco Montserrat Recycling. Uh, I came to Montserrat in the year of 2009 from country of Ghana. That's my country of birth, so I'm Guyanese. Uh, I used to live with my mom for some time and then decided it was time to persuade, move forward with my dad, you know, father and son relationship. Came to the island, fell in love with the sea, all this life, the different aspects of it, the activities, yeah. and from there to now, it's just been history. Uh, in terms of conservation, uh, I think conservation play a big key role in our world today, in what we do, what we don't do, what's necessary, what's not necessary, and what affect the land and can affect possibly the sea and the environment in the general. So we have to be mindful of our acts. Completely agree. And what is it that you do with Eco Montserrat? What is your role there? What's the kind of typical day for you? Uh, so with Eco Montserrat, I would classify myself as the recycling ninja. So we do glass bottle recycling here on island, Eco Montserrat. It's a Darwin initiative, sponsored grant. Um, so we do glass bottle collection around the island. We have bins, numbers of bins, a lot. Stored at different bars and hotel, restaurant, and private people have some bags as well, who's interested and tends to drink a lot. So we have that, we collect on two days a week, possibly Monday and Tuesday. Um, we do island-wide, south, that's from Little Bay straight to Isles Bay. Uh, we have drop points, bins at Isles Bay. We have drop points at the football field in Salem. We have drop points at Lookout, Cars Bay, and as well as Grace. And we do the north as well. Some of the bars up north, popular bar, Richard Samuel, Charles Stewart. Uh, not trying to leave out anyone, but all these great folks that contribute to us and actually store these bottles after selling the drinks and See. then with that we do um, a data collection from that so we know how much the island's been drinking well average we do a slight census and we do the weight of the bin so that could tell you how much bottles in the bin and over time you could estimate and say okay over a month period this is what we've collected and from the area and then and what then happens to the glass after Oh, with the glass now. So that's the exciting part of it. That's the recycling part, definitely. We crushed it into two different particles. There's one like sand, and there's one slight gravel. So we do the crushing, do the data as well, collect the data, the number of pounds which we crushed per day, and we store it, then give it out freely to the environment the public. So it can be used in number of stuff uh concrete mixture roads gardens um people make crafts out of it it's just based on how creative you are but that's just some of the practical stuff that you could actually do with ease yeah i mean it's a great idea you've been lucky that you're going out to all these different bars and restaurants and you're picking up these um glasses that are being collected um, have you yeah. seen a change of attitude in people um, towards recycling? Have they welcomed the fact that you are doing this initiative? Oh, so at first, you know, it came with a challenge. You know, you have the negative and the positive part of everything. Um, at first, it wasn't so recognized, like, you know, a lot of people wasn't showing the interest or some was, some was asking questions, but not really being supportive of it. Because they're like, um, why crush bottles? Why not send them off island? But then you have to educate them and tell them, well, there's uses that we can do with it here. And what we can do with it, 
how we can do it and the future stuff that we could get from it. So time to time now, a lot of people are seeking interest as to how's the program going? Um, where can I bring bottles? Can you come and pick up some bottles from X place or they might inform a friend that you, you could go and collect stuff down at Eco Monster at Crush Glass and decorate your garden and tile and whatever. And I guess as well, it stops um, for the people that are owning the bars and the restaurants. It means that they don't have lots of bottles lying around. It's less rubbish for That's them to have with. So with the collection of all these glass bottles comes great and positive impacts. One, so then you've been around for some time. Now you could find that there will be a reduce of the mosquito infestation. So there will be less bottles lying around and what being built up in them to actually harm the mosquitoes. So that's just one. That's one basic thing that, and two, it's more a little free because nobody loves to see the sight of garbage or bottles lying around. So that's just a start and a plus for the island. Excellent. And it's plastic, th uh, plastic free July this month. Um, are you guys yep. doing anything to celebrate that or you got any initiatives for this? Yep. We've had thoughts way before it even come up. And in this month, we've given away a lot of supplies, a lot of um, recycle containers, food containers. We've given away spoons and like knife and stuff made out of um, stuff that can decompose after a certain time. So our containers is made out of a special sugar cane, um, you know, so the fiber. So stuff like that, you know, we, we tend to just think globally and safe wise for the environment and just trying to make a change. Yeah. And do you find that people are learning as well as you're handing out these um, free supplies? Do you think that that well, will help them think differently? People are. And who aren't, they're seeing a side of interest. So they're asking questions more than before. And now they've been informed, you know, education plays a long role. So We've been doing that, playing our part in educating the public, being updated with them, trying to support them in any question wise, and possibly just to, and to give them as much as we can to encourage them to go greener. And I know as well as your um, glass collecting, you're passionate about being out in the ocean. Have you ever had any um, experiences where you've seen uh, the unfortunate effects of waste into the oceans? Uh, sadly, but yes, I have. Um, so I'm Aquarius, so I'm a water guy. Um, yes, I've seen waste before in the ocean. Uh, for some of the beaches, I don't know if it's due to a beach party or a blowing up waste. Like you find plastic bottles, sometimes you find beer bottles, food containers, you even find like diapers sometimes, used diapers, you know. And um, that's stuff we want to be mindful of because if we don't take action and proper action in how we use the beaches and stuff on land, then it goes into the sea. Then the turtles and the different organisms can take that and it's a big problem. Yeah, exactly. And also if you're eating the fish that it's been in the ocean and the fish has been eating these plastics Correct. and that's not what you want inside of you either. Correct. It's come back to the land and affect us yeah. through our food. <laughs> And what's your favorite thing about living on the island and also being able to get out and about on the ocean? Ah, my favorite thing about living on the island and getting out the ocean. Ah, uh, I like the sea in general. Um, I love fishing, I love free diving, scuba diving. Just got back from scuba diving a few minutes ago. That's why I rushed to came here. Um, we've been up to the fiber optic project, so we've been doing some diving. But what I love more is just Mm, free diving. One time, my best time at free diving was uh, I, August, I think, with some my mice, part of my mice swimming around me while going out to get a boat. So that was my best time of being in the water. Okay. But it's always a good time in the water. <laughs> okay, so I'm just looking down at my phone because I want to see um, exactly if there's been any comments. And and a lot of people are just saying that um, you guys are doing a really good job. It's a new Thank initiative you. on the island. Um, and also it's great to be able to see that people are 
trying to do their bit to help the environment. Do you think that there's room then for people, for more people to take part? There is, there is. There's never enough uh, in terms of people when it comes to taking part of helping the environment to be clean and going green. We appreciate all hands on this. The more, the better. It'd be a greater world. Excellent. Okay, well, that's all the questions I've got for you today. Thank you so much for taking the yep. time to have a chat with us. I really appreciate it. No problem. It. Um, and all those people who are watching back home, thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to ask any questions later, feel free to comment underneath um, the Facebook post and Eco Montserrat will get back to you and with response to your questions. Thank you all very much and have a all good right. day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.